Weighing it at 245 pounds, your great championship wrestling interstate champion, Cruz Jones! Main event time here on Great Championship Wrestling for the GCW Interstate Championship. It's Crew Jones defending the championship against number one contender, J-Rod. And these two men have a tremendous history between one another. This is going to be a very personal matchup to cap off a tremendous evening of wrestling. Oh yeah, you gotta love these people out here in Villa Rica. They know how to throw one bash. Give a shout out one more time to Johnny's Pizza. Best New York style pizza in all of Georgia. But right now, let's get down to action. You're talking about two, the probably the top two guys in terms of young, up-and-coming talent. Your interstate champion, Crew Jones, Tex Monroe, J-Rod, whoever this guy is. But the point is, is Crew Jones. Crew Jones, that's my man right there. Look at that. Jones, a tremendous specimen here in Great Championship Wrestling, won the championship several months ago, and since then has had a vice grip on that championship belt. However, J-Rod might be the man who can finally unseat the champion. These two have met on several different occasions, mostly in tag team com competition. Here tonight in singles, now J-Rod sent across the ring. Hip toss there by Crew Jones. Oh, and a Japanese arm drag as well. The champion starting off strong right out the gate and sending a message to J-Rod, the challenger. Uh, J-Rod's not... J-Rod's not bad. I'll, I'll give it to him there, but to be honest with you, I can't tell the difference between J-Rod and, and Dex Monroe. And, uh, I mean, Crew Jones and Sean Banks, you can tell them apart. They're two totally different cats, man. They got two, two totally different game plans, and they go at it in two totally different ways. And Crew is, in my opinion, the next great superstar to get created here in GCW. He's just got it all. Charisma, looks, the body, the skill. He's got the complete package. Jones with a flurry of offense once again, now taking a break and apparently giving J-Rod the opportunity to leave. Now some extra added commentary there by the champion looking into our television cameras. However, J-Rod very patiently waiting for the champion to meet him in the center of the ring. Where the fate of this championship match will no doubt be decided. Whether Crew Jones likes it or not, he's going to have to get into the center of the ring and lock horns with J-Rod man-to-man -man and determine who is the true rightful owner of the Interstate Championship. Well, he wasn't stomping his foot there to get the crowd riled up. He had a wedgie and he wanted to pry that thing loose. But anyways, you see it gave him a little bit of an advantage here. He's got Crew reeling now back in the corner waiting for the, uh, the breather here. But the point is this. Whoa, wait, Johnny. Oh. Hate to cut you off, but did you see that, Crew Jones? Driving J-Rod face first into the corner and now choking away on the champion. Referee Scrappy McGowan trying to maintain some order. Well, like I said, you know, he, he's the champion for a reason. He's got that interstate title and he's had it for so long for a reason. Because he's the man. And it ain't going to end here. He's got a lot more time with gold. Interstate, world heavyweight, tag team. This kid's got gold written all over him, period. And no, Crew Jones coming very close, but this matchup will continue. Jones now stalking his prey. Front chantry position, what's this going to be? Oh, he's got him up in a suplex. And holding him up there with a delay. Oh, before driving him down head first to the canvas. There's the collar, but no. Jones showing tremendous power in this championship match. Well, you know, they say muscle weighs more than fat, and Crew Jones is surely, surely not lacking in the muscle department. So you're right, over the long haul, having to carry all that meat around is going to make the guy tired. But this match ain't going to go the distance. I'm looking at maybe 10, 12, 15 minutes, and Jones is going to put this in the bag. He's going to knock him out, and he's got to wrap it up. It's getting dark. You can see it. 
J-Rod continuing to fight, trying to break this maneuver. Now J-Rod coming up to a vertical base. Oh, he drove the elbow right to the ribs, and again, he broke free. Now coming back, but no. Getting caught in the ribs with a knee. Tremendous strategy being shown here by Crew Jones, who is on his game here in Villa Rica. It's gonna, it's gonna be that way for the rest of the match because this guy's pound for pound one of the most. Did you see the velocity of which J Rod was driven to the canvas? Yeah, exactly, because he's one of the most powerful guys in the sport of professional wrestling today. And there you go, you see it right there. The thunder and the velocity with which he delivers his moves, they're knockout moves. That move right there, bringing down J-Rod and a European uppercut as well. Crew Jones has been on his game for the past several minutes, delivering some tremendous striking maneuvers, and this matchup could be over for J-Rod. You know, you, you, you said nearly beat him, nearly beat him, closely beat him, almost beat him. Almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. It didn't get it done, and now Crew Jones is back to pummel in this kid's skull in. Reverse chin lock now on J-Rod furthering the damage to the challenger as Crew Jones just uses those massive arms that look more like tree trunks. Toadstro, he was trying to rip the head completely off the shoulders. J-Rod now coming back with a shot right to the ribs, momentarily stunning the champion. Crew Jones looks like he might have been, the wind might have been knocked right out of him. Here comes J-Rod, but no. Pancake right to the canvas, and there's the cover. He hooks the leg, but no. This matchup will continue. Well, like I said, Jones is going to keep delivering these high-impact maneuvers, and over time, cardio, no cardio, whatever you want, you get hit in the head hard enough times you're gonna eventually go down and crew jones is just setting him up j-rod's got the talent he just doesn't have the power and that's gonna be the underlying theme in this match look at him wrenching right there taking the breath away that cardio ain't gonna help when your lungs are closed jones using the ring to his advantage in every possible way that he can think of to retain the great championship wrestling interstate title Jones has certainly been on his game throughout this entire matchup, and right now, it looks like Crew Jones might be thinking about ending this matchup. But J-Rod firing some shots from a lowered position, stunning the champion. Irish whip across the ring. Here comes Crew Jones, but no. Drop kick attempt by J-Rod. Jones put on the brakes. There's the cover, but no. J-Rod got the shoulder up. Uh, see, he, yeah, that ref is slow. We, we, can we get a new ref down there? Can I go down there, Tatum? Johnny V, you stay right here. This championship match is raging on, and the last thing we need is you anywhere at ringside. As referee Scrappy McGowan is doing a tremendous job at this point, as Crew Jones now choking J-Rod, nearly getting disqualified. No, I'm insulted, Tatum. What are you trying to say? You trying to pick on me now? That's messed up. Irish whip across the ring, here comes the champion, but no, nobody was home, and the Bulldog by J-Rod, momentarily buying himself some time, this championship match could be turning. Oh yeah, well hey, you think J-Rod's gonna get up after the pounding he's taking? He's taken seven minutes of just skull thumping so far, and you're not gonna see this guy get up and just jump all about, of course he's beat. He pulled that one out of the closet and caught Crew off guard, but as you can see, Crew still got life. He's first up. J-Rod now trying to come back, firing shots to the champion. Irish whip across the ring. Clothesline there by J-Rod on Crew Jones and a back elbow as well. Right now, the champion in a lot of trouble. Backdrop courtesy of J-Rod right into the center of the ring. Irish whip once again. Crew Jones ducks a clothesline. Oh, he's going for the roll-up on J-Rod. Oh, J-Rod following through with the momentum. The shoulders are down, and it's over. J-Rod just pinned Crew Jones. And new great championship wrestling interstate champion, J-Rod.